Welcome back to SAP Developer News, your weekly news update with the latest on SAP products and developer tools. The second UI5Con on air will start next Wednesday evening, German time. The event spans over two days and will be loaded with many exciting sessions all around the UI5 universe. Join the keynote by Stefan Beck and Peter Music to see the latest innovations and get inspired by demos and product examples that use these achievements. Rumors say that it will feature topics such as web components, TypeScript, and ECUI5, so don't miss out. Visit the event homepage today to see the full agenda and to import the ICS files into your calendar. There's no need to register for the event. Just visit the linked broadcast platform on the day of the event and you're good to go. We've published a report this week documenting the 2021 Developer Insights Survey. This public survey ran for six weeks back at the start of the calendar year. Our report highlights some of the key takeaways we found in the data, along with a lot of details that you might find interesting too. Check out the links below to read Thomas Gressel's introductory blog and the actual report. If you're a developer looking to build your next cloud service offering, check out the Industry Cloud topic. Industry Cloud is all about extending the intelligent suite with specific industry solutions built on SAP's business technology platform. Find out how you can build and connect with like-minded developers on the Industry Cloud topic page on SAP Community. Hey everybody, it's Josh Bentley and Rich Heilman. We have a lot of news this week and so much great news is coming out of Sapphire, we wanted to highlight four areas. First is the free tier model, not trial, but the long awaited free tier of the SAP business technology platform. It's available on July 1st. There will be over 30 services available at launch, including the ability to develop apps with the SAP Business Application Studio, build apps with mobile services, as well as automating business processes using the SAP Intelligent Robotic Process Automation. Stay tuned as we plan to continue to add new services to the free tier model. For our second update, it's ABOP related. So Rich, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so one news item coming out of Sapphire this week uh, was that SAP plans to complement its existing extensibility options of the ABOP programming language by offering the developer on stack extensibility option in other words, the technical foundation of SAP BTP ABOP environment as a development platform within SAP S4 HANA Cloud. So for those of you familiar with the topic, this is the embedded steampunk concept that was mentioned at last year's TechEd event. The first version for selected customers and partners is planned for the fall of 2021. Another news item coming out of Sapphire this week was around the announcement of the general availability of enhancements to low code, no code capabilities around SAP workflow management and SAP intelligent robotic process automation services. The recent enhancements to both services means SAP is investing heavily in developers of all skill levels, including the citizen developer and helping them build low cost scalable applications quickly and easily with very little or no code at all. So some very exciting stuff going on. Josh, have you heard any other interesting news coming out of Sapphire? Yeah, definitely. Thanks, Rich. Uh, the last item, we've got SAP documentation. It's gone open source. You may have seen this release last month. Late last month, a blog post came out from our colleague, DJ Adams. This beta release includes the business technology platform, as well as the cloud application programming model, CAP. Uh, this was covered in the blog post last month by DJ Adams, but we also wanted to highlight that we also have contribution guidelines and a partner charter available. We're promoting this because Sapphire audience may not be aware of how much SAP is embracing open source and the software that our customers and partners use is only going to get stronger if the documentation is a living, breathing document that we all get to collaborate on together. Recap. The conference about SAP's cloud application programming model is back later this month on Friday, the 25th of June. 
The call for papers is done, the sessions and speakers have been confirmed, and the agenda is out now. Check out the Recap Conference website and see you online.